Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to Dying Light. This is the side quest Cease and Desist. Cease and Desist. That is a lot of S's. This is the final side quest for the slums. Which again, has a lot of S's. And this is the longest one, by far. So that's why I saved it for last. And, I'm not 100% sure on this. But I think this would be the... It would make sense that this mission can't be done after beating the game. It would make sense. I don't know if that's how they do it, but because of certain events that happen at the end of the game, that's Kareem I'm not going to spoil for you here, but of course it, it... I don't know. I don't know if this will be available. So I recommend doing this before you finish the game, before you do that final mission. Just a recommendation. If it still works afterwards, please let me know. I'd, I'd like to know. All right, so first thing we got to do is find a walkie-talkie. I, I recommend grab some camouflage and search these bodies over here. And the guy with the walkie-talkie is actually going to be kind of isolated from the rest of the guys. The rest of the bodies, I should say. Yeah, he'll be over here to my left. Yes, this guy here. There we go, and Kareem will tell you exactly where you need to go. Get your asses back here then. Gabriel's a state five. Come in through the basement. Is that you, Ozan? Alright, so that basement he was talking about is gonna be on the far western side of the area, the highlighted area. You won't be able to go inside any other basement, so this will be the only working door. So I mean it should be pretty easy to find. Once you're inside. This first little area doesn't have anyone, but coming up around the corner is going to be three of Rise's men. Oh, and you can break your way in there. There's nothing too important, just some crafting supplies. At this point, I got all the stuff I need. I don't need in there. We're good. Alright, so once you head up the steps, turn off your flashlight because there will be some of Rise's men around here. Yep, right up here to our left will be two of Rise's, uh, Rise's goons. So at this point, I've got a melee weapon, my awesome flaming blue flamingo thing here. It's strong enough, it can take out these people, no problem. So that's what I'm going to use. If you want, pull out a gun. You can use that. Molotovs, like I did there. That works out perfectly. Whatever you want to do. Alright, so that was two of the guys. Be careful, because there is a third right around the corner that scared the shit out of me when I was playing. I forgot he was there. Wow, came up out of nowhere. Alright, so once you got everyone looted, we can carry on. Just head through the hole. I have to stop every five steps and look for something to loot. It's just my addiction. So bear with me. God, I hate games with loot systems like this. Because I just, I have to search everything. I don't know why, I just, I have to search every nook and cranny. And it bothers me when I don't. So a game like Diablo... God, that took me forever, and I still haven't even beaten the game. Oh, it's terrible. Alright, so there'll be another four or five guys here. Luckily, they tend to bunch up right at this corner, so when they do, just throw a Molotov. They don't always bunch up there, but usually. For some reason, that corner is just tricky for them. Alright, so go about looting their bodies, and when you're done, head over to the elevator.
Oh dear. <laughs> Chill out, body. Chill out. Alright, so we'll climb up here. This is pretty easy, just kind of work your way back and forth across the walls. The bounce wall, and then bounce to the back wall again. I thought maybe I could cheat that. No. Too tall. Just bounce over to the back wall, and then over to the side again. And you're out. Then just make a left, and there'll be a door at the end. Just head over to that and talk to Kareem. Yeah, that's where we're going to end up going. But no, first, we have to head this way. Kareem, it's Crane. Drop your weapon or you're dead. What? Sorry, you are, I, it's a white uh, man, but uh, what about yeah, well, looks like, look, if I... Fair enough. Good luck, Crane. You're going to need it. Alright, and then we can head back to that staircase I was just staring at. Head upstairs and you can leave. Need to report back to Earl. I know that's not how you pronounce his name, but I don't know how to pronounce his name, so I'm just going to call him Earl. Did you find them? Yeah, it's a base. I like to watch you call it Password. And the second thing is... Well, no. Go find some paint. Alright, so now he's going to send us off to go find some paint. And we're going to kind of rush through this bit here. So, first in the southeastern corner of the building. Just go up to the first level of scaffolding right here. And there's your first paint can. Your second one is actually going to be on the same scaffolding. Just keep climbing up. And just before you get to the uh, very top of the roof, you'll see some paint cans right by this ladder. There's your number two. Number three is actually just up this ladder. So it's over here on the southeast side of the building again. Very top of the roof. You'll see this big old ramp. Looks like you can run and jump off to the trash. And at the base of that ramp will be your paint can. Perfect. Now we need to head back to this cool. Luckily, there's a very handy zip line leading straight to the school. And in fact, it takes you right to the roof, which is where we need to end up. Alright, so I have a problem with this little animation here, uh, and it's not so much that it's not exact. You know, I, I get he's not spelling out the exact letters, whatever, but why is the paint brown? Why is that little spray brown and then it comes out pink? Is that how spray paint works? I didn't think so, but what do I know? It's weird. And yeah, I felt that was important enough to point out. This is a long mission. Alright, the roof's been painted. What isn't in this Alright, so talk to Earl again. We're gonna go down to the basement this time. Gotta go grab a bag of money. Be careful sliding under this hole here. A lot of times there'll be a zombie hiding around in that corner. It can really mess you up. He's actually killed me a number of times. It's bad. It's terrible. And so once you're inside, this place ought to look familiar. This is the school we dealt with before. There is a lot of stuff to loot, and there are some zombies down here. So be ready for a fight. And I'm not going to show you all of the stuff I'm looting, because it, it actually ends up taking me like 5-6 minutes to do. Um, but definitely keep your eyes out for the zombies wandering around. Yeah, one kind of sneak up sneaks up on me here. Oh, damn, he's still not dead. That ought to do it. Alright. So once you're done looting, you're just going to head over to the locker rooms here. Search both lockers. And you will find absolutely oh, nothing. Of course. There is nothing there. And of course, the back door you just came in is going to be locked. So you have to make your way up to the roof. And there are a lot of zombies between you and the roof. We're just going to ignore all of them. There is no point in fighting them. So just take the stairs as far as they'll let you. Which apparently is only one floor. 
And just keep on running, push past any zombies on the way. Hang a left into the classroom. And at the end of this classroom will be a ladder. Just hold your button, climb the ladder. Yeah, you might have to take care of a couple guys right here, but... Not a big deal, it's two zombies. You've dealt with worse. So, of course, loot that area. There's a lot of good stuff there. Head out to the roof and collect your reward. There are a bunch of drop packages and some med kits and flares and Hello, all kinds friend. of nice stuff. So, day, be sure to grab Guys, all of that stuff. An and that's it. That is Cease and Desist. It is a pretty long little mission, but uh, I kind of like it. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to let me know. I'd be happy to help you out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video, where I swear we're getting back to story missions. I promise.